Hello everyone, it's Doc Smooth 1973 back again with another video. And uh, this time is going to be basically three part video, one for the Nintendo GameCube. And today I will switch it up for once because I actually have two Sega Genesis games. Um, I was in the mall today looking around at some games. I went to a couple of game stores and I came across Game Traders. I uh, went in and, you know, was just looking at a, a few of the games like for the Xbox 360. And then I noticed that they had some GameCube games, they had some PS2 games, they had Atari, Dreamcast, PS1, they had a lot of stuff in there. So, you know, I was just going through all the things that they had, and I came across these three games, one for the Nintendo GameCube and two for the Sega Genesis. And they were pretty cheap, they were about seven bucks a piece and they were having a deal where you buy two and then you get one free so that's why I bought three games to get the advantage of the free game so basically what I'm going to do is for right now I'm going to show off the Nintendo GameCube game that I got from Game Traders and I'll be back with you know with the two Sega Genesis games like I said, I'm pretty much switching it up because I know I, I've been basically doing Dreamcast and Nintendo. But every now and then I might find a game for the Sega Genesis. And if it's a good deal, I will actually buy it. So actually, like I said, I'm not, I did not get these games from offline. I actually went into an actual store and bought three games. So without further ado, I will crack the bag open. And this is the first game that I got, which is for the Nintendo GameCube, which is Bloody Roar Primal Fury. I never played this game before. So I looked at it, you know, flipped it over on the back, and it looks like a really, really good game. Something that I enjoy. I, I do enjoy a lot of fighting games. So, I, you know, I was reading it on the back, and it looked like it was pretty cool. They had it. Initially, when I bought this one, they said they had another one with a different cover. I think it was a guy that was pretty much turning into a wolf or something. So he was looking to see if he had the other case, but he didn't. So I just got this one because, you know, the collection looked better with a dude. You know, not a chick on the front. But, oh well, as long as it's a good game, I really don't care. So, that that. And here is the other one for Sega Genesis, which is Star Control. Like I said I looked at this one. I actually have, I think, Star Flight for the Sega Genesis. It's a space RPG game. I, you know, I enjoy it. I play it every now and then. But I was taking a look at this one. It kind of resembles the, the other one that I have for Sega Genesis. So, like I said, I was looking at it. To put it over on the back, you know, say experience killer combat in the 27th century. Best science fiction game of the year. So I know this came out a long time ago. So this was like, what, 91 that it, this came out? So actually, I never really had it for the sake of Genesis when I had my Genesis originally. So I said, you know what? I might as well give it a go. So that is the second game of the board. And here is the third game, which is Jam It. I was kind of looking at this, you know, it's kind of like street ball a little bit. Um, I have NBA Jam for the Genesis. I have both tournament edition and the regular NBA Jam. So I was looking at this. I said, hmm, kind of hesitant, but. I read it. it. Looks a little good. So I said, hey, it's only seven bucks. Can't beat it, so why not try it? So yeah, like I said, here are the three games that I have right here. I will be starting off with this one. And then I'll switch over to these two a little bit later. Plus I have a couple other videos that I have to get caught up on. I had a pretty much I had a pretty long week due to the bad weather and everything. So without further ado, here is like I said, Primal War. Let me get it straight. For the Nintendo GameCube. I actually when I when I actually uh, went to the store and I looked at it, it has everything inside. 
case just looks a little bit messed up, which, you know, every, you know, you're not always going to get real good cases and, and slip sheets and all that other stuff. You're not really going to get all that good stuff. But this one, as you can see, I only paid, what, eight bucks for it. So it is what it is. As long as it plays good, which the guy said it will, it's just a few scratches on the back. But, you know, as long as, you know, you know what the Nintendo GameCube, as I said, as long as the disc doesn't have any scratches on the top, it will play. So he said if I had any trouble with it, I can always bring it back and they'll buff it, they'll buff it out. So I really didn't have time for him to buff it out. So I just said, you know what, I'll just take home, I'll just take it home and try it out. You know, uh, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have uh, alcohol. You know, I can rub it across there because you can see a layer is a lot of scratches on it. So hopefully it'll play without no problem. Like I said, as long as there are no scratches on the top of the disc, it will play fine because the laser disc, excuse the laser and the Nintendo GameCube won't be able to read all the information. The laser will just go straight through. So that's that. Here is the instructions. Excuse me. Oops. Got the dropsies. Which is, you know, it's not good condition. It's not already condition. It's eh, 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 about 50 50 for me. No, I'll make it 60 40. So we're just gonna thumb through it real quick, see what's what. Which it looks looks good. Here is the questionnaire for it, which is in good condition. And like I said, here's the disc. It has a lot of scratches on it, but hopefully it'll play good. And then here is the case. Case is in okay condition. Like I said, it has a lot of damage. It looks like water damage too, but like I said, we don't all get gems. As long as it's worth the price, it's worth the price. So, as you can see, the GameCube is already started up going to pop this in and we're going to see what this bad boy is hitting for so all right we have the actual startup screen I'm going to go ahead and press the A button and then press the start button. So it's, it's running really good, even with the scratches on the bottom, it's still playing real good, which I like. And I mean, for me, this was pretty much an impulse buy because what I normally do if I go into a game store. I normally scan the UPC and check on eBay to see if I can get it off of eBay or uh, Amazon a little bit cheaper. But I saw it and looked at the back of it and I said, hey, i really rather try it now than to wait for it. So uh, what I meant to do was a little bit later on after I made the purchase was to check on eBay to see how much it goes for at eBay. But eight bucks, that's pretty good. I'm 
so that was just the intro. Let's press the start button uh, to create a game save. Right, let's just go through. We got arcade options. You can train, team battle, team battle, survival, time attack versus. We're going to go to the arcade. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, like I said, this is my first time playing this game. I really don't know what it's about. Because normally with some of the GameCube games I have, I normally played them before, you know, in another system or something. I just want to see what it looked like on the GameCube. But, uh, you know, this looks pretty good. I'll try this dude. He looks like he's a little bit of a bad but I'm going to press start. And they give you a brief backstory too. Well, I don't know. I might skip it, then I might not. Just to give you, you know, some gameplay. But let's just see how long this runs. Let's get to the game. Round one. Get ready. Fight. <laughs> I'm doing pretty, pretty, doing pretty good with one hand, but I believe practice is on the easy setting. All right, I just apparently I just turned into a monster. All right. All right, I'm just like I said, I'm just pressing buttons right now. And I did really good. And I, I look like I have to read the instructions, and, you know, the note to learn all the moves and everything. <coughs> See what you got. Oh wow! I, can, I did not. Nice. Let's turn around. All right. Round two. Get ready. Fight. Do turn into a bear. All right. Like that move this is pretty vicious. All right, I might lose this one. All right, that was some gameplay for Bloody Roar. I, I kind of like this game. It's a little different, and you change, you know, into an animal or something else in mid-game, which you know pretty much changed the rules of the game so I uh, hope you enjoyed my video like I said I'll be back with the other two for the Sega Genesis and always if you like it you know comment on it if you like it like it if you don't you don't so once again thank you for viewing my video and peace see you in the other video